happy and healthy. This is a new series aimed at providing older adults with resources on health, fitness, finances, and other services. Happy and Healthy. Welcome to another edition of Happy and Healthy, a series that provides resources and uh, connections for older adults and their families in the community. Uh, today we're going to be talking about enjoying life. Uh, I'm Louise Thompson. I'm the Executive Director of Tampa Bay Community Network, where you can come down, learn video production training, and have your own show just like this one. Uh, actually, better. You could even do better. Mm -hmm. With us today are Edith Traina, who's a volunteer coordinator at the Town and Country Rec Center, where she's part of the Town and Country Senior Stars. Welcome. Glad you could be here, Edith. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. And we also have Russell Elefterian, who is a program specialist with Hillsborough County Parks Recreation and Conservation Department. Welcome, Russell. Glad Thank you could you. be with us Pleasure too. to be here. Russell, why don't you start us off and uh, tell us about the park and rec program at Hillsborough County. Well, uh, Hillsborough County uh, uh, provides an array of services for this, its citizens and uh, we uh, have after school for the children. We have uh, adult program, athletic leagues, what I'm involved in is uh, senior programming, specifically at the Northdale and Roy Haynes Rec Centers. Where's Roy Haynes? Roy Haynes is in the Carrollwood area. The closest intersection would be Fletcher and Rome Avenue. Okay. Yeah. And what about Senior Stars, Edith? What's that about? The senior Stars is a bit unique in the uh, Parks, Recreation, and Conservation Department to the Town and Country Recreation Center. Um, the senior program, which is available in all of the recreation centers for the parks um, department, is um, just organizing the, the seniors who do attend Town and Country Recreation Center to be more or less a little social club in addition to being the senior program. And uh, we have uh, little special activities unique to our senior program, and it's just a fun time for all of the seniors. Russell, what kind of programs are there specific to seniors? I, I can't get over looking at the websites. There's just a ton of yes, things. Yes, uh, well, we, we have eight regional centers. Or there's 10 regional centers, and uh, some are <clears throat> very, very active and have uh, senior programs. Some of those programs that uh, most of the 10 regional centers have include uh, a walking club, some form of exercise or aerobics light or some stretch and tone. They also have, um, you know, uh, line dancing is really big and that's where Edie and I, we've been line dancing since 1985 and I, I love Edie to death. <laughs> She's, her and I go way, way back. But um, those are just some of the programs. There's a, one program I'm doing right now that's especially popular. It's called Pickleball and we have the largest pickleball uh, senior program in Hillsborough County uh, for the Parks and Recreation Department. Uh, we have over 60 seniors that are playing pickleball what at Northdale. Well, pickleball is like a, um, it's uh, <coughs> like tennis. It's done on a miniature tennis court. We play indoors in a gymnasium because we're spoiled and we want to have the air conditioning. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of like a gigantic uh, table tennis or ping pong game. It uh, doesn't require a whole lot of running. And a lot of the participants are ex-tennis players, like myself, that, you know, we're getting a little too old for tennis, and so we're slowing down and we're, we're, uh, we're playing more and more pickleball. So, and Is the ball bigger? The ball is a, a wiffle ball size, just like a tennis ball. Mm -hmm. It's plastic, mm -hmm. and the paddles we use are just a pickleball paddle. It's kind of like a uh, racquetball pa uh, without the strings. It's a solid uh, wood or graphite composition paddle and you have to serve underhand and then f from there once the ball bounces they just start ting 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 ting, ting and are these keep things on playing. are the same things available <clears throat> at each one of the regional centers or it, it, they're different well there are a couple of uh, regional centers now offering pickleball besides uh, Northdale we're looking at all people's life center which is in Temple Terrace they have a beautiful facility there. We're thinking about starting the pickleball. And Gardenville 
down in the Gibsonton area also has pickleball. And so uh, what I'm excited about is we just conducted our first indoor pickleball championships. We had over 120 participants and it was Goodness. the first time we've ever done this. So, <clears throat> and, they're, um, and so at our regional centers, as we start building, as we start building uh, gymnasiums and recreation facilities, we're going to be including indoor pickleball in some of those facilities. So, do you think this you, is going to become an Olympic event, or <laughs> don't know? <laughs> but you started. It's, it's pretty. Have you played? It's pretty it's, big. No, I haven't had time yet to get into the pickleball. Okay, but, tell me yeah. about the programs for senior stars. What what well, these social programs are? Well, basically, the senior stars programs are very similar to the other. You're not from New York, right? <laughs> you have oh, yeah. to be able to tell that from my uh, accent. Uh, <laughs> yes, and I, you know, yes. I, I just want to say to the entire viewing audience, you're so lucky that New Yorkers showed up here. Really? <laughs> uh, to, I, I know maybe I'll get a letter or two about this, but isn't it nice that we came down here and started some things? Absolutely. Some Absolutely. Really things. Yeah. So thank you, one New Yorker to another. <laughs> yes. Appreciate it. Okay. But as I say, basically the Senior Stars program is very similar to other recreation uh, centers in the Parks, Recreation, and Conservation Department. But we do have some special things that we uh, have the seniors participate in. We celebrate birthdays once a month. We celebrate many of the uh, holidays. We have a big Thanksgiving luncheon. Uh, we have our Christmas celebrations. We have our almost New Year's Eve party. We call it almost New Year's Eve because instead of having it on New Year's Eve, it's before that special day, and everything is almost like New Year's Eve, but we dress up and we do all the things that you would do on New Year's Eve. Do you almost have champagne? We almost have champagne, and yes, we do. Okay. It is <laughs> non-alcoholic champagne. Oh, okay. right, so you we really don't, don't do it. Okay. <laughs> That's right, but we have but, Garland Bottos, Old Lang Syne. We have the balloons drop from the ceiling. Any bubbles? We, yes. <laughs> okay, we have bubbles? We have, we turn the clock, even though the, the uh, event is uh, in the afternoon, like uh -huh. four o'clock in the afternoon, but we black out all the windows, we have all the lights on, we turn the clock to nine o'clock so that when it comes to 12 o'clock, everybody thinks it's midnight. We have the countdown <laughs> at 15 seconds to the hour. Everybody has their non-alcoholic champagne, and we count down, and at the uh, and the ball drops. We even have a ball that drops a little pink <laughs> New Year's Eve ball, and Old Lang Syne comes on, and at the stroke of midnight, everybody shouts Happy New Year, and the balloons fall, and I, we have the little toast, and we hug, and we kiss. By the time people are ready to leave, it's like New Year's is over, now we go home and we still have to do our Christmas shopping. But it's almost New Year's Eve and we have all celebrated the holiday. And this services a lot of seniors who do not have an opportunity to be with friends, relatives, or local merchants for Yeah, we're New such Year's. a mobile society. It's hard to do yes. all that, to be with your children or your... And this substitutes for that, and everybody looks forward to that. At least once a year we do that. How many members are there in the STARS? This year, uh, up until now, we have 147 registered. And when I say registered, we do have a regular registration. We have a roster of names, addresses, and birthdays, and all the necessary data. And we keep track of all the seniors we send out. If somebody needs a get well card, we send out a get well card. Everybody gets a birthday card on their birthday. And we just have it like a regular little uh, social group for Anybody who needs to have a friend, relative, or local merchant to continue to uh, interact so, uh, with. Besides your parties, do you have, because I've, I've heard that they have this at some places, uh, dinner nights out at different restaurants and things like that? We have our out-to-lunch bunch. Okay. In our particular location, it seems as though after a number of years, we used to have evening activities, but as we've all gotten a little bit older. A lot of people don't like to drive at night and they're more committed to afternoon. So we have now have our out to lunch bunch, which was started 20 years ago, at least mm -hmm. 22 years ago at and you our were too bowling. Young to be I was such a group, weren't you? <laughs> it was our bowling 
league, which we right. still have. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm going to guess Edith's Italian. No. Sorry about it. Almost. Well, almost, almost yeah. Greek. <laughs> oh, close. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's close. close. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Greek and Italian. Because we they yell it. at me for moving my hands around right. so much. But that's from New York. I'm watching you do it, and I'm, I'm thrilled to death because <laughs> nobody's yelling at me now. They're right. not going, she's not looking at me going, get those hands down. <laughs> Sorry about so that. So there you are. Yeah. Right. Well, there you are. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you started this as a young person, not for seniors, yeah, for just... Yeah, you know, I, I can't remember. I was probably in my 20s, and um, I, was, I was fortunate. There was a gentleman named Sam Cabrera with the city of Tampa, and he uh, worked many years in the city, and then he started working in the county. And um, I just took to him, and he taught me how to do line dancing. So when 1985, when Edie comes up and says, you know, we'd like to do line dancing, and I, I just got promoted at Town & Country. I'm thinking, wow, I, I don't know if I could do all this with my daily schedule, but we, we made it work. We ended up having a big uh, line dance, but besides that, we had an out to lunch, and we had bowling and walking and just and that was for any adults or just that, specific no, it was for seniors? The, it was specifically for the seniors, and it's been going ever since. So I noticed that you're doing power lifting, and you brought a power lifter with you. Yes, to our I did. Station. Well, I don't necessarily do it, but Bill Beakley does over there at Jackson Springs. Tell me about this power lifting. Well, How did that get started? Well, uh, Bill is a professional, uh, former Mr. Florida power lifter, and uh, he works at Jackson Springs, and he's. Uh, He's under the assumption that anybody can do lifting if done the proper way. And so uh, he included the seniors not too long ago. And Edie and her group, she had a YouTube, I guess, uh, yes. little thing on Clip. YouTube. And some You're of the a other YouTube seniors. star? Yeah. Oh, She's my a goodness. Star <laughs> okay. With the power lifting. So she, she could probably tell you a little bit more about Yeah, tell me about it. How lifting. did you get involved in that? Well, the power lifting started with my friend Carmen, who wanted to keep her body healthier. And when she heard that Bill was uh, going to be doing our tone and stretch program specifically for the seniors, she chatted with him and he introduced her to the power lifting. And she had such a great time. She um, talked me into <laughs> becoming a part of it. Now we have about 10 ladies. Uh, we hope to have some gentlemen join us, but right now we're all 10 ladies who participate in working out and uh, learning how to power lift. Some of us compete. There are four of us who have competed in the uh, senior games and in the um, uh, various meets. And um, I only became a champion because of default by age. There's nobody in my age group that will. Smart, <laughs> very smart. Just get older. <laughs> That's right. That's what I say. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so uh, when we became uh, aware of the meets and the competition, we just um, have been having such a great time. And we discovered that there is no reason why anybody, unless they have a physical problem, but if you are just generally in, in good health, you can lift, you can press weights, you can do all kinds of wonderful things for your body and have Should a I great time. Should I ask you what's your, have you, your big weight that you Well, lift, uh, I've gotten up to 110 pound deadlift, that's lifting it straight up. And then bench pressing, I've been able to do 60 pounds, pushing the uh, weights over my head while laying on a bench. Carmen does um, uh, squats. It's called squats where the bar goes over your shoulder and right. you uh, squat down and then lift it up. I haven't gotten there yet, but maybe by the time I'm 92, I'll be able to do that. But in the meantime, uh, I have to stop by it. By the time where you're 92. 92, look at these. Yes. Wow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's a long <laughs> way away, right? No, that's next August. Yeah. You're 91 years old? Yes, ma'am. Still, still teaching line dance. I think as I'm well. in shock. Did the people yeah. in the audience just fall off their chairs? <laughs> no. That is just incredible, yeah. Edith. Mm -hmm. Well, you look fabulous. Well, thank you very much. I'm enjoying it. Believe me. I'll bet you yes. are. Yeah. To live so long, that's so great. Yeah. How extensive is the are these senior games? Is it um, just regionally, or the whole county, or it goes well, even the, beyond that? The Tampa Bay Senior Games is open to anybody. It doesn't, you don't have to be a Hillsborough County resident. Most of them do uh, come from Hillsborough County, and there's, there's more, <laughs> there's more uh, things to do in the Senior Games. You name it, they have it. Uh, probably 40 or 50 different uh, events. 
categories and, and of things it, like yeah. bowling or yes. they got bowling, softball they got or softball, cards, pickleball, uh, the power lifting. They have uh, uh, pinochle, basketball, basketball, throws, throws, baseball, free throws, throws uh, corn hog, discus. Yes, discus, yes. track, all kinds of track events. Mm -hmm. Uh, these all um, take place at the same time or at different times during the year? It's a two-week event in October. In and October, and people can find out about it by going to the Hillsborough County yeah, the Hillsborough uh, dot County. org website and then clicking on recreation right. or going down to the right. A to Z listing, mm -hmm. and they'll find it there yep. when it takes place. Yeah. Does it take place in town and country or all over? It's all over. It's well, uh, Various sites depending various sites. on the activity. Yeah. The host sites, uh, all people's. Life Center, and that's where they culminate and have the uh, banquet and things like that. But uh, all the events are throughout Tampa. Like the pickleballs in Sun City, they got billiards. They play those in New Tampa. So uh, and the no track. bocce ball for us uh, Italians, I'm, or are they I'm have sure that so bocce much? ball. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. uh, I was wondering whether we would have that <laughs> or not. Um, these programs, how do you get word out about them? Honestly, it's just. Uh, a lot of folks don't know the uh, breadth of the offerings that are available. Well, besides the uh, Hillsborough County website, mm -hmm. the Senior Stars have their own little personal website. Mm -hmm. It's www.tncseniorstars.com. TNC Senior Stars. Senior Stars. Okay, TNC, we'll of course, that. stands for Town and Country. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's our little website to inform all of the seniors of what's going on in our senior program and whatever uh, hap is happening in other senior recreation centers. So to be a part, Senior, senior Stars is just uh, located in the town and country, or do they have other rec centers that have Senior Stars, this, this well, program? Well, or they call it something else? Well, maybe. we have yeah. the Northdale That's Owls, right. which there's 800 seniors in the Northdale Owls. It's the largest user group, I think, at any of our facilities. And um, they have their own activities besides what we offer in parks and recreation. They're almost a, a co-sponsor of a lot of our events, and they have their they have a bunch of events on their own. And they also have a website, you know, the Nor Northdale Owls. Can people get to these websites from the county's website, or no, not really, because they're separate. They are. They're they're, they're separate. a separate organization right. within mm -hmm. the. Okay. If, but if you wanted to power lift with Edith, do you have to be a town and country resident? No, I don't believe so. The um, power lifting program is out of the town and country recreation center. But if somebody from Polk County came, yeah. We're very uh, congenial and, and sociable and hospitable. They, do and they have to wear that on their shirt? I'm not from, I'm from out of county? No, no not, not Actually, really. the, the Senior Stars program is just a, a way of getting the seniors to feel like they have a home base, so to speak. And they, uh, we have our little name tags and we have our little special um, get-togethers. We have our meetings once a month to plan what we're going to be doing for the next month, making it kind of a social and, and um, uh, fun activity for everybody to become involved. We, out of these uh, 147 who have registered this year, we have 14 of us who are 90 years and older. Oh my goodness. And they're still kicking up their heels and participating in all of the activities. And um, our, we have our little um, motto, which is our AAA program, but we tell them that it is not a road service. It stands for active, alert, and agile. And if you stay active, you will be alert and agile. And that's kind of what we live by. That's fabulous. We have a wonderful <clears throat> time, everybody. And if anybody came into one of our sessions, they would be hard pressed to determine the ages of any of the people in there. It's very challenging because usually you walk into an area and you say, oh yeah, they're young adults or they're teens or they're seniors. But everybody in these sessions are so coordinatedly involved in their social activities that there is no age barrier. There is no 
uh, de uh, determination of who is what age. Everybody is just having a wonderful time. Is this mm -hmm. true all over the county with the other programs too? Yeah, the, the Northdale so. Owls has a, uh, a similar uh, acronym, they, older, wiser, livelier seniors. And what we promote in Parks and Rec, and it is certainly part of that, is that we want, it's important to th for the seniors to stay active and healthy and keep their minds sharp. And we, we believe in that, and that's why we're, we, we've been doing this for so long. Does the so, Carrollwood area group app also have a, uh, a Yeah, senior? the Roy, Roy Haynes has five programs right now, and then um, <coughs> I, I have at North, North Dale, I have about 20 programs. And then the owls have an additional 20 programs where they go on field trips and charter buses, and they do some more elaborate things. They they have a luau coming up, and God knows what that's going to look like. But uh, they have all the luau, uh, this, the the hula skirts and all that. But uh, and and um, I think uh, Gardenville in Gibsonton, uh, they're, they're uh, they just started, and uh, they're, they're really up and going. And then Brandon has always been always had a large senior population in Brandon mm -hmm. as well. So those are the, the, the four main sites. Does Sun I think. City have a rec area or because Sun City has its own the closest, community? The closest is the Ruskin Rec Center and they're they're even though they're a regional center, Sun City provides so many senior activities that we're just just now in a development stage for Ruskin and we, we see some positive things coming out of Ruskin because, uh, we're, again, we're going to be building a gymnasium there in Ruskin and providing some of those senior services there. Have you seen a, uh, an increase in interest and in participation in these programs over time? Now that, you know, we've had a bad economic time, people can't join a gym or maybe do a lot of things. It is sometimes a changing scene, but there are... If the senior stars, there are some of us who have been there 20 years, uh, 25 years, and 15 years. And then there are some newcomers who have only been there 10 years or 5 years. And we every year we get some more people who hear about us, read about us, or uh, have been solicited by a friend, relative, a local merchant, and, and um, they become a part of our program. So it is a changing scene. Sometimes people move or uh, just um, uh, have their lifestyle changed and they don't participate anymore, but they are very few, and mostly we keep getting new people. And you see and a I, big growth I, in the county. Yeah, well, with the uh, a lot of the seniors, uh, I'd say probably 80% of our seniors are very active and moving and everything. And there's 20% that just enjoy playing a, playing cards and stuff. But well, I'm like really proud to say that almost all of our programs are free. If you want to line dance over there in town and country, it's free. Same thing at at that uh, Northdale, Brandon. Uh, if you, you know, unless we have a special interest instructor where they come in, then we will charge a minimum fee. But uh, I'm really proud of the fact that it, if you're a senior, it, it virtually uh, won't cost you anything to join any of these programs. Is that true of the rec center itself? Do you have to pay a fee to join the rec center or no? No. There's the, uh, yeah. most of the programs at the uh, Parks and Rec. There's some after school that we uh, we charge a little minimum charge, but virtually all the programs in Parks and Rec, it's probably the best value in town. <laughs> well, I'll say. Yeah. This, uh, now yeah. with the, these other side programs like the Stars, Senior Stars, you might have to put a few. We bucks have a into fundraiser, that. and yeah. that's our name tag. We call it our name tag program, yeah. and uh, we have a little donation that the seniors can make, and they get their little name tag, so of ID, and that supports. Uh, well, you have a website and things like this. You have to do yes, and probably invitations. And when we have parties and things, uh, getting the props and and the paper products and things like that, it helps. And the coffee, we have coffee and uh, cake, and buying the birthday cake for the the uh, birthday every birthday month. month. So yeah. it, it supports all of those things and it's a donation that the uh, senior stars offer. But every single class is absolutely free all over the yeah, entire county. Yeah, I would county. say. Yeah. Yeah, I would now, say. The only exception is if you have to have a certified instructor for a particular program, you might have to have a charge for that. But we, at this point, we don't have 
that at Town & Country. So we're down to a couple of minutes left before the show ends, and I always say to um, panelists, which I'll say to you, is to, would you like to add something to the discussion or, or reinforce something to the viewers out there about the program uh, in well, these last few minutes? Well, um, I'd just like to say that, the, that if you're living in Hillsborough County and you're a senior, it's a gold mine out there. Uh, get, get off the couch, get, come to visit one of our recreation centers, get on that website, hillsboroughcounty.org, and you could do a slash parks. It'll take you right to the specific area that you live in. And, um, and, and uh, like I said, it's a gold mine of uh, free activities to get you started. And it's wonderful, wonderful people that you could socialize with and, and, and it'll really uh, enhance your life, you know? I think I'm gonna go do that. Yeah. I, I need to get off that couch. I definitely <laughs> we would do. love I need to, to have get, you do that. Actually, what I have to do is get away from that computer and that iPad. That's the hard to iPad. do. <laughs> oh my God. I think I should mount it on my treadmill. Maybe I'll get back on there or something because I just yeah. get so involved in yeah. those games and things and it's mm, really bad. Really. It's really yeah. bad. You can see that it's get bad. Get involved in those senior games. Okay. Well, Tampa Bay to Senior that Games in October okay. 2013. Uh, what would you like to add, Edith, to this? I would just like people to remember our AAA program, and if they stay active, they will be alert and agile. And that's what Russ is just explaining. That's what it's all about. Encouraging people like myself who have uh, sort of let those activities go for whatever reason, too much work, too many other things. Mm -hmm. How do you get people motivated after you know they've been doing that? Because it gets harder, well, you know. What happens is you get more tired because you're not active, and so then you're like, "Well, I can't go to that. I'm too tired to go." Yeah. Well, we I just try try to get get them drawn into a like we have a painting group, so they start painting, and all of a sudden now they say, "Wow, we got walking in the morning, two or three days a week. We could do that." And they get a T-shirt if they walk a hundred miles, and they're like, "Hmm, that, that mode." And they could do one lap. They could do six laps. It it really doesn't matter as long as they're active. And, and uh, participating. They're still going to get their shirt. They're still going to get their shirt. The yeah. hours of operation of these rec centers, could you uh, go over them? Or are They're, they different? No, most of the recreation centers, they open up at 9. And um, they, uh, they're they open from 9 in the morning to 9 at night. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of the senior activities, of course, are in the morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, what's great is that in the past, uh, we have had the children have the after school, the camps, the summer camps and things like that, but our department is emphasizing senior programs. So now the seniors will have access That's to the rec longer centers, time. longer time, including the summer. I want to thank both of you so. for coming on and letting us all know about these programs and uh, relaying your uh, motivation for all of us. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you all next time.